Uh, we got a tropical party going on in the Atlantic Ocean. Two systems that we're tracking. Look at this one. Strongest of the year. This is Franklin Category 4 storm. And we've got what is developing into will eventually become a Category possibly 3 hurricane coming up out of the Bay of Campeche and headed towards Florida. Official forecast track does ramp it up here as we go through later tomorrow night into Wednesday morning, making that landfall in the big bend of Florida and then coming up the coast, trying to get that center back out towards the coastal areas here. Notice we are inside the cone. That means we have a chance of seeing at least tropical storm force winds anywhere in that cone, generally south of Highway 264. And that is going to be on Thursday as that probably is going to exit between, say, Cape Fear and Cape Lookout as it makes its way on out into the ocean. So that is what the big story is we're going to be tracking all week. Again, Franklin, that's the big headline here. Strongest storm of the season and that is going to send long period swells back towards the coast and we'll start to feel that tomorrow with the high rip current threat risk coming at the part of the uh, king tide that's going to raise some of those water levels along the crystal coast and then franklin and both idala will go out into the ocean now what we're tracking here closer to home not related to any of those our flash flood warnings for Duplin County already the DOT is closing parts of Highway 41 and 50 in around the Keenansville area from ongoing flooding there. But you'll notice though it's the just inland from the beaches that we are tracking this here for this afternoon and we'll continue to follow that with light to moderate showers further off inland across Hyde County. This is the reason why we do have that flash flood warning in effect Doppler estimated rainfall amounts of over four inches have occurred with this system as it's continuing to press its way inland, but again, away from the coastal areas here. Temperatures in the, the 80s where we've had some sunshine and haven't had that rainfall across the area just yet. Future track does show those scattered showers and storms continuing as we head on in through the daytime hours today. Overnight tonight, we'll see maybe some low clouds and fog. Tomorrow, a little bit more sunshine. Still some isolated sea breeze storms, but not nearly as widespread as today. They will continue to move a little bit. Then we start to feel the effects of Idalia coming up the coast. That is going to start to bring the rainfall in here from southwest to northeast as we progress through the day on Wednesday. And Wednesday night into Thursday, there it comes along our coast kind of right along the shoreline here, making its way out into the ocean. It could dump an excessive amount of rainfall for us here, as well as windy conditions along the coast. We'll continue to fine tune that forecast as we get through the week. Also going to be looking at, if all goes well, drying out for the upcoming week, holiday weekend.